Hey guys, Gregor here, and today I want to show you a new command that I've come up with to strip the silence from audio stems. If you do in mixings, you probably know what I'm talking about. Then your customers, your clients, your artists are probably sending you exported stems like WAVE or AIF files that would be all of the instruments used in that session. And there's probably going to be a bunch of silence in between the parts because naturally not all of these instruments are playing at the same time. So usually we use strip silence for this, which is the button right here. But my problem with this command is that it doesn't respect the grid setting, right? Like when I try to use this, let me just hit apply here. It's going to clean everything up and uh, the threshold doesn't make a lot of sense right now. Let me try that again. Okay, so I cleaned that right up. But you see right here, when I go to the beginning of these events, they're just not cropped to the bar grid, right? And I don't really like that because it makes, for example, copying and pasting, duplicating of parts very difficult, right? If I would now copy this, for example, and I go to bar 47 exactly and I paste it, um, then it's not going to be in the correct position because this was here at 25.04.02 and this would now be, you know, offset. So there's a bunch of problems that come when you use the strip silence method, I find. And to solve these problems, I came up with a command that I call crop selected range that really helps you to clean up the silent parts of your audio stems very quickly while it's still respecting the grid, which is important for arrangement editing purposes. Let me show you how this works. So when you have this command installed, and I'm going to show you how to install that in a little bit. First, I want to show you why this is interesting in the first place. You just select the range tool. And once you've done that, you can just select the ranges on the audio stems that you would like to keep. Okay, and to select multiple ranges, all you need to do is hold down shift as you're making your selection. And notice how you can already see this in the preview. I'm cropping things to the bar grid. So here it would be basically cropping 43 to 45. So this single audio event here would start at bar 43 exactly and end at bar 45, which is important for editing to make sure that everything ends up at the correct place. And then I'm going to do that here and also here with a little bit of practice. This goes very fast. Let me also do this for these events here and for this. And once you have everything selected that you'd like to keep, and this goes very quick, believe me, then you just need to tick the very first track of your selected ranges. So in my case, Tom's is like the topmost track that I have selected a range on. So I have to tick that once. That's the only thing you need to keep in mind. And then you can trigger this keyboard shortcut, my command crop selected range. You can also map that to a button of any kind be it a MIDI button or a button in the macro toolbar. How are you going to do that? I'll show you in just a moment. But basically, you trigger this command and look, it cleaned up the ranges perfectly. And now if we just zoom in a little bit, you can see that these event containers here are all cropped perfectly to the grid, which is something that the strip silence command doesn't allow you to do. Now, if you like this command and you would like to use it for yourself, then you're going to find it here inside of the Studio One browser. Just click on the browser here. Go to the Clouds tab. If you don't see that, just click on this arrow here or widen this box a little bit and you should see it right away. And then double click on Personas Exchange to log in with your Personas credentials. Once you've done that, you should be able to search for crop in the search bar at the top and then find crop selected range. That is my brand new macro. Just click install. I already have it. So it says update, but in your case, it would say install. And once you have it installed, you can go to your keyboard shortcuts right here and then search crop selected range. It should show right up and you can assign that to any key of your choice. And then you can proceed as shown previously. Now, if you prefer not to use keyboard shortcuts, you can also open up the macro toolbar right here. And then you just right click, add a new button anywhere you want and then assign that to your brand new command, which is again called crop selected range. And this would give you a button that you can now always press whenever you have this kind of workflow. 
So that was just a quick editing video. This might be helpful to all the mixing engineers out there who have to clean up stems on a regular basis. I find this method very quick and I actually prefer it to automatic methods because I can see precisely what ranges I'm going to keep and there's just one button press to remove everything outside of these ranges. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of applications for this that are also useful outside of the example that I've shown you, but I leave that up to you to explore and you can now add this to your setup inside of Studio One. Thank you for watching.